All right, so in this last video on CSS, I just want to go through um, the, I want to go through my cat website here and just perform some styling. You don't really have to watch this if you don't want to. I just wanted to show you how I would go through and you know make some stylistic changes using CSS. So here we have our page again. We have all of our text. We have that video at the bottom, um, and uh, we have a background color set. So this is the index file. Within the index file, we have linked to my internal CSS sheet. So I'm going to go up to the CSS sheet. Uh, so first off, I have one um, element level selector, and that's just for the entire body. So it says the background color, the beige, and then I set some font um, elements. So by default here, the font family is uh, Tahoma. If that's not available, then it's Veranda. Verdanda, I don't sure I say that. Um, and then if, if it doesn't, and then this font, and if it doesn't find anything, then do a sans serif font or a font without the um, without the serifs. Okay, so that is the body. So let's let's create just a general one for the paragraphs. So we're gonna do a p tag there, and we're going to set a max width. And we'll do that as, let's do 600 pixels. So now a paragraph won't, will wrap after 600 pixels. So it doesn't get any bigger than that. It's actually probably a little small. So let's step that up to 900. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit more reasonable. Okay, there we go. All right, um, let's see. What else do we want to do? Let's um, do some styling on the images. So we're just going to do a general image tag or sorry, image selector. And we want to try to get this, let's let's set it up so that the images will center um, on the page. So to do that, there's a couple different options. What I'm going to do is set the max width. And I'm going to need to go in and change that in the other, in the, let me do that real quick. So I had set a width on some of these already. So we want to get rid of that. And it's going to look gigantic for a second because I don't have anything set. Same thing there. And here. So get rid of those max widths. All right, now let's go back to our style. And we set it to 400, so now that'll be honored and won't be superseded by the inline CSS or inline styling. And uh, so we set the max width. We're going to set it to display block, and that's so that it displays as one. Uh, it returns to a new line as opposed to be the filling of fixed number of spans, which is the default for an image. And then we'll do margin left is auto and, and then margin right is auto. All right, so now we've centered our images on the page. What about these uh, horizontal rules? They're not great. So let's fiddle with that. So we'll do HR. So again, this will get applied to all the horizontal rules. And we'll do, actually I'm not 100% sure what the options are. So let me look real quick. I think we should just be able to do that. Let me do collar. And we'll find a collar that looks good against the background. Maybe we'll do like a dark green. And we'll do a width 
of, let me see if this is working before we, oh, I guess we want to do height. That makes it pretty big. It looks like the collar is actually for the border. So let's see if we can't change the collar. I'm gonna look up some settings for this because I don't actually know what the arguments are. HR styles CSS. Okay, here we go. So these are some options. So you can set a border. Um, Order and uh, size and okay, so that's I was doing that wrong. So let's go in here and do this. So do border is equal to I'll uh, do three pixels and there's a couple different pattern options. We'll just do solid and then dark green. Let's see what that does. So now we have this thick dark green line. We could also set a max width and let's do that as 700 pixels. So that will make it not extend all the way across. So now we just have it centered there in the middle and it won't get bigger than um, 700 pixels across. All right, uh, let's say we wanted to do some more formatting for the images. So I'm gonna put less like a little border around it. So again, I'm not 100% sure what all the options are. So we'll do image style CSS, see what we find. Again, W3Schools is a really good reference. Okay, so there's border options. So let's play around with that. So in an image, we're gonna do border, and we'll set that to, let's do two pixels, two pixels, solid, and um, let's just do like a black border. So we'll do a black border. Also note if you hover over these collars and they'll show you what the collars are um, there in brackets. So now they should have a slight black border around each image. It's probably maybe a little too dark. So I'm just gonna go and set this up a little. Let's do three, 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 three. So be kind of more of a gray. There we go, a little bit of a gray border around everything. All right, um, what else would we want to do? Uh, let's see if we can get this video to center. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with this image, but now we're going to apply that to an iframe, which is basically the container for this. Maybe, let me look real quick. So image, it's in an iframe. We need to remove these because we don't want that to get superseded. All right, so there it went to some default setting. Now let's go back to our style. And we want to set this to, let's do width of, 600 pixels Oop, I spelled it wrong that would help there we go so now it's centered 600 pixels and we probably want to set a height and we'll do 400 pixels bit of a weird dimension but that's okay 
All right, um, how about the table? So let's play around with that. So there's a lot of, let's, well, first off, let's see what our options are for tables. So first off, we'll go into our, t back to our, our argument here, or our, uh, our CSS. Um, we could do a TH and maybe change the font color so the font's a little different from the rest of the table. So let's go up to, actually, let's do a different color for each one. So we'll assign a class. And we'll call it T H uh, T H at for attribute, and then we'll do class equals T H Fred, and then oops, close that there, and then we'll do for the last one T, uh, class equals th pair. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my style. And we're going to put in a class selector. So we'll do dot uh, th at. And let's set a collar. So do collar, we should apply to text. And we'll set that equal to, I don't know, it doesn't matter. We'll do crimson, crimson. Oop, that didn't work. Let's see what I did wrong. Didn't work. Let me try background. Color. Okay, maybe I just had to refresh it. Let me try it with color again. There we go. So I've noticed this sometimes with the live preview, it doesn't always update like you think, so you might have to go through and uh, do a refresh on the page to make sure it updates correctly. All right, so let's do some other options. Change this to TH Fred, and then TH Pair. And we'll just change our colors here. And so again, that's at the class level. And honestly, since that was applied to a um, single element, we could have done an ID, which would have been fine. All right, so we're gonna look up table formatting, table format CSS, and see what type of options we have. Let's do, so this is, would be at the table level. Oh, I guess no, this would be the element level. So if we'd put a text a line in there, we should be able to center the text within the cell. Oops. Get this back. Save. Let's see what that does. Yeah, so now they're centered. And let's do the same thing for everything else. So all these TD elements. So for that, we can just simply do TD. And again, that's at the element level. So there's no period or 
hashtag and we'll do text align center. So now everything is centered there. Okay, so maybe we want to add the, the borders back in. So let's look at this and see what our options are for borders. do that so we'll do that would be at the table level so we'd have to create a new selector for table and then we'll set the border equal to let's do two pixels solid and then we'll add in uh, let's see we'll do the our green color so dark green back to this so that's for the whole table. So we, let's see if we can get it to work for all the divisions. Oh, I see, we have to do it for everything. So we'll do table, th, td. And see what that did. There we go. So now we have all of our elements there. Um, if we didn't do, well, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so what else might we want to do? Maybe we'd want to center our um, text, our header text. So let's try to do that. So I'm going to go back to the index. And are these in containers? We should be able to do it that way. So let's try this out. So we're going to do h1 and h2. And we should be able to do something similar where we do block auto. Let's see if that works. If not, we may have to try it out another way. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's see if we can figure out how to get this to center. Oh, I think I was just making it too complicated. I think all I have to do in this case is do a text align. There we go. So that kicked all of those over for us, so they're centered. And then for this first one, maybe we'll change the color of it. So we'll do uh, dot, well, let's do a hash main, main title. And we'll set a collar for that. I want to do a, yeah, no, that's right. We want to do a collar. And again, I'm just going to pick a collar. Doesn't need to. Now note that nothing happened, but that's because we haven't assigned that ID to it yet. So I'm going to go back in to the index file. And then for that first object, we're going to assign to ID of main title. Oh, and that took that caller. That's a bad caller choice, but um, it's kind of dim. But obviously that's starting to look a lot better than the original page without any formatting and all the defaults. Real quick, if you want it, let's just go back to the original. I'm just going to delete this link so it doesn't see it anymore. And that takes us back to the original formatting without the pictures being resized or anything. I'm going to add that back in. And... There we go. We're back to our formatted page. Okay, so anyway, that's some examples with CSS. And in the next section, we're going to be looking at 
uh, more improvements with uh, Bootstrap.